Yeah, it's Pop and Play Boys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna show you guys how bipolar Florida is. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Focus. All right, boom. You see that, right? You see that, right? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. What the hell? Just one big old cloud. Makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your stock steering wheel go from this to this. So the product that I'm gonna be using to wrap the steering wheel is uh, this company called Me Want. I think that's how you say it, or Me Art, or Mu Art, something like that, from, uh, from like, I think it's Japan or China. And they make steering, steering wheel cover wraps. This one for the SI, uh, they, I had like kind of kind of a little problem getting it because they thought like since it has the SI logo it wouldn't be able to fit but that makes no sense but uh, yeah this is actually custom made they didn't really they didn't have this particular design that I wanted so I had to get it custom made it only cost me $55 so yeah it's a suede wrap with the red like stitching on top the red band on top and uh the threads are red so i think it's gonna look pretty dope on the steering wheel since like the s already has all the red and stuff so i thought like yeah man get the red cause it's gonna look fire but uh yeah man let's get this installed installed let's get this installed installed let's get this steering wheel installed i'm show you guys how to do it this is my first time ever doing it and it does involve sewing so i don't know how this is gonna go let's get it all right, guys, so if you guys see me turn on the car and turn on the ACs because it's really hot in here, but yeah, it's really simple, I guess, to get this installed. Uh, one thing I didn't like is that they didn't tell me what's the front and what's the back, so you really have to try to figure out your damn self. But anyways, I guess I could tell this is the, this is the back, the shorter side, and then the front is right here, the longer side, so it has to cover up right here, so... Yeah, so I guess it goes on like this. Yeah. Ooh, man. And it is a tight fit, so don't be afraid. She might break it or something. It's not gonna break. And then you have to align it. What I'm gonna use to align it is the, like the thread itself inside the steering wheel, like the, how the steering wheel has those certain, like, I don't know what you call it, like, you guys know what I mean, man. Like this part, these parts. I'm gonna use that part to line it up, so. All right, so oh, I forgot to show you guys what came. <clears throat> I forgot to show you guys what came in the box. So it comes with this, of course, you know, the steering wheel wrap, and then it comes with all these little goodies. So inside, pull it out. So inside, it comes with a uh, thread, of course. It comes with two sets of threads. One, two. I don't know what this is. I think it's like something you put in your finger or you wrap. I don't know. I'll figure it out one day. But uh. Yeah, it comes with a double-sided tape and then uh, this like piece where you can push in the extra thread Not the extra thread, the extra uh, material into your steering wheel already So I'll show you guys how to do all that But first I kind of want to get this steering wheel properly, properly aligned Oh man, I'm sweating, this is hot It is hot, I'm about to turn the AC on Alright, so I think I got to align pretty well all right, so I think I got it aligned pretty well. When I close it up, it fits pretty good. Top is pretty good. This is pretty good. This side's pretty good. And everything else is, you know, minor things. So next is to get some thread on this needle. And once you do that, you got to thread it through the back side of this. So right here, I'm just gonna, I think it's better if I show you guys rather than tell you guys. So let me just do that. All right, guys. So since I got the steering wheel all leveled, I guess you could say. And all right, guys. Since I got the steering wheel how I want it and how aligned it is. Whoa, kind of messed up right there. 
All right, guys, since I got the steering wheel exactly how I want it, I'm gonna show you guys like how much thread you should use. And uh, really, you should use a lot of thread, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go at least like three feet. So it's probably like one yard right there. So it's probably like a yard. I'm gonna go a little bit more. I'm gonna go long as hell. How about that? So I feel like the the more thread the better since you won't run out. Go a little bit longer. Yeah, but I feel like the most <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like the more thread you use the better because you don't have that problem of like running out of thread and stuff, so I feel like the more thread you use the better. get some more I do have two sets of threads so I could be kind of lenient with this I feel like this should be enough yeah I feel like that should be enough Yeah, I feel like this should be enough. So now I'm just gonna cut it. All right, since I cut it now, what I want to do is make a little focus on this. Focus on this, bro. This. There we go. Dang, this focus is good. But yeah, since since I cut it now, what, what I want to do is make a little knot right here. So yeah, simple knot. Sorry if it's so, <clears throat> sorry, you guys. If you, <sighs> so what I want to do now? Focus, come on, focus on this bad boy right there. E nope, not my finger. Nope, nope, right, right there. So what I wanna do now is make a little knot to the, on the tip. Sorry you guys if it's like, if it sounds like I don't know what I'm doing, cause I really don't. Kinda have an idea. So yeah. Wanna make a little knot. And if you want, you could cut off that little excess you have. Like what I have right now, you cut that little tiny piece off. All right, guys. So I went ahead and went a little bit further in the steps. Didn't really explain anything because I was getting kind of frustrated. But all right, so I'm gonna tell you guys what to do now. So when you have your needle, which is I don't know where it's at. I just used it. When you have your needle, what you want to do is go through it like that and come out through the back. So you're gonna go through the back one right here and go straight through it through the back until you get that little knot. And that's gonna stop it. And once you do that, you start going in and out of each each uh, little thread. So in, out, in, out. And then uh, before you before you do that, I will recommend tucking everything, tucking and using the tape to like make sure it's tight. Cause if you don't, it gets loose and uh, feels weird. But I got everything pretty pretty good for my first time doing it. This side wasn't the best, as you can see, it doesn't line up really well over here but over here hopefully i can make it look twice, twice as better oh it's hot out here i just want to get this over with it looks really nice so far i'm really liking it so yeah let's finish this up also i forgot to say when you get to like the end when you finish this whole row and you get to the end what you want to do is make a little nut somebody's talking outside me close the door 
So all right, so when you finish this and you get to the little end or whatever side you guys started on, <clears throat> I mean, whatever side you guys finish on, you guys wanna make a little knot and uh, pull that knot real tight and then you could cut it loose and tuck it. All right, you guys, so it's been a couple hours and this is how I got the steering wheel sitting so far. It's pretty damn nice, I'll say. I love this red part. But uh, here's a tip while doing this, use your tape. The tape will save your life. Use your tape. Because when you put the tape down, well, for this part, for these parts, when you put the tape down, it'll be easier for you to sew it. Because it's really hard to sew it, sew it when it's flapping like this. So use your tape. And use your tape for up here too, so, you, so, your, uh, so your strap won't be retarded. It's been like six hours since I've started this uh, install. I'm tired, I'm sweaty, I'm hungry. So we're gonna pick this up tomorrow. When it's nice and sunny, I'm gonna use the AC in the car because it's hot as hell and I can't do it no more. Can't do it no more, man. I can do it tomorrow. Day two. So, uh, yeah. Steering wheel look the same from last time, from yesterday, actually. My girlfriend's here. Hi. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna finish this install up today and get this top portion all stitched in and aligned. And then, yeah. So you got a little video of this thing. Right now, I'm looking at the steering wheel. The steering wheel, the steering wheel looks really nice. Like I really like it. I feel like it's a good mod to do if you guys don't want to buy like a quick, uh, quick release steering wheel or one of those uh, expensive carbon fiber crap steering wheels. So yeah, if you want to change your stock steering wheel and make it look nice, do this. guys so the steering wheel is almost complete it looks freaking beautiful like damn the thing look good but there's some imperfections on the steering wheel that you guys can't see and i can barely see myself but i just know it's there because i'm the one who messed it up like there's small little gaps like very small little gaps but nobody's really gonna notice that when we look at the steering wheel the steering wheel is so beautiful wow uh also um I don't know if it's because where I got the wrap from or it's the company since it's a Chinese brand. I don't know if like the fitment's kind of off because certain spots like right here don't close and I'm guessing it's because of the brand itself. I don't really understand why. Because I know there's another brand that makes the same exact steering wheel cover but I know it's a higher grade and they're like $100. I didn't want to pay $100 so I paid 54 for this. and. Uh, it looks pretty good, I'll say. Like, it looks freaking good. Like, wow. But yeah, um, I'm gonna finish up the steering wheel and show you guys more shots of it. I got this little part right here to finish up. Just that little part. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video after that. So let's get this part finished. Go crazy. Also, I got these rags here because the sun was baking me like a damn baked potato. Hope you guys enjoyed the little cinematic shots I took with the steering wheel. I used to be so bad at doing those shots, but I slightly got better. But it's where I'm gonna end up the video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed what you guys seen today, and you guys like the steering wheel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And also, before this video ends, follow me on Instagram at underscore got the score. <coughs> My throat's itchy. But also, follow me on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Also, I wanna say thank you to everybody who subscribed recently. So I went from 400 subs to 490 to almost 500 subs within this whole month and it's just really crazy because i only post one video but yeah man this is where i'm gonna end off the video 
Your boy Sean's out. Peace.